Welcome to another Motivational Monday. It is the start of the week and I am a-hole Joanna Bronson, excited to share with you my thoughts on you telling the story that you want to live. Now, this comes with the thoughts about every day. What do you tell yourself? What are the thoughts that run through your mind about where you're at and what you're doing? What, are, what do you wake up to? Are you excited about the day that's about to head? Do you wake up grateful the things that for the things that you have in your life right now? Uh, tell yourself the life that you want to live. If you wake up every day and you say, you know, oh, I just gotta, I just gotta get here before I get that. I just have to land this job before I can tell my family I'm a full-time working actor. I have to make this much money before I can live the happiness and the life that I want. Um, if you're constantly telling yourself these uh, what ifs and whens, when I get, when I do this, when I travel here. Uh, when I achieve this, when I get this award, uh, I'm not good enough to do this, I'm not good enough to speak at a rally, I'm not good enough to uh, teach a class. Whatever you're telling yourself, that's the life you're living. And that's the point of this video. I want you, I want you to be motivated to start talking to yourself the way that you want to live. If you want to be a full-time working movie star, are you talking to yourself in that way? Do you dress every day like you're a movie star? Do you walk into the mall or into the grocery store like you are a movie star? How does a movie star do those things? Like, what, what does that look like to you? Be what that is, live that life, already be there. Do you want a beautiful home one day? How do you treat the home you live in now? Is it clean? Do you make the time to clean that house once a week? Do you make the time to make sure your desk is organized so that you can focus on your creative endeavors? How, what about your car? I, I meet so many people like, oh, I want this car and I want this and that. But the car that they have, they treat like shit. It, 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 looks, like, it looks terrible. They don't clean it ever. They don't um, treat it the way they would treat their superstar car. And that's almost like another symbol of how do you treat yourself? How do you treat yourself? Do you make sure you're getting enough sleep? Do you make sure that you're getting that mani or petty that makes you feel good once a month? Are, are you making sure that you set aside time and energy to read, to grow, to uh, enjoy little adventures? Like me, I love adventures. If I don't get at least one or two adventures in a month, I go crazy. I, I need that outside. I need something that's outside of what am I doing every day. Like I love my creative, I love my jobs and everything that I do, but sometimes I don't want to think about planning and doing a million things. I just want to enjoy the moment. So maybe once a month I have a yearly pass to Six Flags. It costs me 65 bucks when I get um, the, the discount because that's where I live right now. And once every couple of months, I remember to go and that makes up for the price of it. And when I go, I just enjoy being on the roller coasters and just letting free and yelling and enjoying my time. What do you need? What do you do to live the life that you want? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of the things in your life that already tell your mind and body that you are the thing you're trying to achieve? What is that? Uh, you want to be a famous writer. How do famous writers act? What do famous writers do? Do they work every day? Do they write every day? Do they criticize themselves terribly every day? Maybe. I mean, artists, we love to criticize ourselves. But just work. Just hustle. Just do whatever it is that you need to do in order to live the life that you want. Waking up every day and giving yourself crap is not the way to go about it. Are you setting boundaries and setting goals is great. Setting, um, telling yourself, you know, giving yourself constructive criticism is great. But if you spend every day saying like, oh, I was terrible at that audition. Oh, why? I don't want to go to class tonight and do this scene. Oh, I don't want to go bartend tonight. It's just, I'm so tired of talking to people. Imagine that job. Let's start with that. Imagine that job. Um, I'm, I, I know a lot of people in hospitality. I have been working in hospitality for 15 years now, guys. I, and it has allowed me to travel. It has allowed me to move to four different states and pursue my dreams. And I got it to a point where I'm not overdoing it anymore. You know, when, I'm, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, we're gonna party, we're gonna drink and da 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 and wasting money and doing things that, you know, to this day, I'm like, oh, I could have handled that a lot better. But that being said, yeah. I am a bartender. I have done it for the majority of my life now. I've been in hospitality in all facets of the industry and I've come to love and appreciate it because the people that I have met, I have met other famous, I have met my icons because I worked in a bar. That's insane. Like, who does that happen to? I 
saw the Rolling Stones in Columbia, Bogota for almost next to nothing because I am a bartender, a part-time bartender. Who does that happen to? I would never have expected something like that to happen. And you gotta know what guys, that didn't happen until I started looking at my part-time job like, you know what, I appreciate this job. I am so grateful for it because every day I have an allotted amount of hours that make sure that I am paying my bills and I can spend the rest of my free time in the week to pursue what I love. I have become so grateful for it and ever since I changed that little mindset about my job, things have been coming to me that I, I could never have seen before. It's insane. I have been bartending for 15 years and only in the last three years did I start to be like, all right, I, I, I love this. I appreciate it. I understand it. And don't get me wrong, guys. I get it. There are days on the on your side jobs that you're like, you know what? Fuck this place. I'm out. <laughs> like, I get it. We all go through those hangups and I'm not perfect and I definitely have my days where I'm down. But, but now that I... I want to be a full-time working, world-changing director, actor, and that, and I want to make stories that impassion people. And my daily routine is to speak better of myself, appreciate the things I am able to accomplish in a day, and really be grateful for where I am at. Because it took me a very long time to get to this place where I, I didn't wake up happy and excited, guys, every day. There was a very long time in my life where I was down and. I, I didn't appreciate what I had and I was in a trench and I was depressed and I wasn't doing the work that I loved and I was picking up jobs that I didn't like. I remember once I had six jobs. The most I've ever had at a time in my life was six jobs. I was in my early 20s, I was in college full time and I had six jobs and I was miserable. I was so miserable and I hated it. And now when I look back at it, I'm grateful that I was able to pull it off. But then I was just such in a, such a frenzy about money and life, and I definitely wasn't living the journey that I want. I was living at a place of scarcity and fear. And I'm telling you that the people around you, it reflects in the way you walk and the way you speak. And they can tell whether you know them or not, they can tell on a daily function. A casting director can see it. A director can see it. They know the energy once you walk into the room with whatever self-talk self that you have, they can see it. And something I want to give you guys um, a little quote to think about. You are the author of your own life, of your own story. So start today, make it better, be happier. I know that sounds like so cliche, just be happy. And you know, it's a choice. It's a choice to be happy. It's a choice to, what, to decide what are the things you need to be happy. Like me, I, need, I know I need sleep. If I don't get sleep, I'm not patient. I am a terrible person to be around. I know that if I don't eat, my work suffers because I start getting sucked into it and I can't take a step back and be like, oh wait, I'm hungry. That's why I can't see the answers to this problem. I need to go take care of myself. You know, what are the things that you need to speak better about yourself? And so the other big way, another great way of looking at this, the way that you talk to yourself, how would you talk to your five or six year old daughter? How would you talk to uh, your five, six year old uh, niece, brother, sister? Um, how, if it was you and you were five or six years old, like how would you talk to yourself? Would you tell that child, that version of yourself? Like, no, you can't do these things. No, you're not worth it. No, of course they don't love you. How, of course they don't. You're not good enough. Like, would you talk to yourself that way at that age? At any age, why do you say these things about yourself? Why do you live life in a certain way? It's not loving to yourself. And that's what it is, guys. It all comes down to love. For me, everything, the bottom line is love. How you pursue your dreams, how you go about your life. Uh, it took me a very long time to get here. I was not always like this. And I hope, hope, hope this motivates you to see that you need to live the life that you want. Wake up every day and be that movie star. Wake up every day and be that Nobel Peace Prize winner. Wake up every day and be that track star. Whatever it is, whatever characteristics that entails, do it now. Don't wait till it happens because you know, you're not gonna be happy then. If you don't enjoy the journey and you don't end up getting the exact result that you wanted, you're gonna be miserable and hate all the time and energy you spent on it. So why not wake up today and be the person you wanna be? It starts right now. Go do it, guys. I hope this motivates you and you're excited to be your higher self or whatever speaks to you and what you're on your journey for. 
I hope this helps. So if it was helpful, please like and share. That's all we ask at A-Hole Productions because we're trying to create free content for you to help you on your journey. So leave your comments and questions below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. What helps you on your daily journey? What are you talking to yourself about? Let me hear. I want to hear, do you have a motivational speech you do every morning? Let me see it. Share with me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. See you next time, a-holes.